Hey everybody, welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting Hotel Review. Today we've got a two hotel video for you here in the city of Chicago. First, the Thompson Chicago, which is located in one of the best areas of Chicago, Old Town. I did love the location of this hotel. It's part of the World of Hyatt program, so I earned some elite nights for my stay. Uh, I used points. It was about 21,000 points a night, um, so it is a Category 5, unfortunately. It used to be a Category 4, and I do believe it should still be a Category 4. This was not my favorite Hyatt stay by any means. Nothing necessarily bad about the hotel, just a little middling. Uh, the hotel's restaurant is under construction, so they just have this small to-go counter, and the hours were very weird. Um, it actually closed early one of the days, so there was no real food at the hotel besides room service. That is what I got for my globalist breakfast, which was actually room service, and uh, the property was a little annoying about like what we could order and not order. It was, uh, you know, not not my favorite part of the stay. Uh, they do have a gym in a windowless room, um, but they tried their best, I think, with the space. Now let's check out our junior suite. I did use a expiring uh, suite upgrade uh, here. So overall, not a like true suite that you can get at many hotels here. It is a junior suite, which is a pretty decent sized room and a good view for a hotel in Chicago. Nice big bathroom, which I really liked. Nice uh, tub and shower over there. Um, and then of course uh, you have the sinks. And as you walk out, big full size mirror for getting ready. And the room is kind of separated by this uh, TV setup. So you have a TV on either side of the room, which I liked. Nice little couch there to sit at. Very custom looking couch, which was cool. And then you have the bedroom over here to the left. So a nice king size bed. I do like the Thompson beds. They're very, very comfortable. Sliding doors into the closet. Not a very big closet by any means. Uh, there were three of us in this room. My wife and I, and then my uh, small baby hard to fit like two suitcases in here um just in the closet area itself just something i noticed as we move into the living room area you do notice that we have an awesome balcony which is pretty rare i think in chicago um, and it was good weather our trip so it was cool to just be able to step out there and see the city below we were on the top floor which is great uh 24th floor so um, that part was awesome, and uh, so if you have good weather, uh, you can definitely sit out here, enjoy a cocktail, or maybe uh, your room service breakfast, um, and just enjoy the view. We didn't really have a view of the lake. It's pretty close to the lake um, here at the Thompson. Uh, we were facing the opposite direction, but cool city skyline view nonetheless. Underneath the living room's TV is a small bureau with a mini bar setup. Really nice mini bar setup uh, if you're into that sort of thing, but no room for sort of to-go items. Um, but overall, that is what the Thompson Chicago looks like. Uh, so when we wanted to move hotels, you can take an Uber or you can actually take the red line all the way down to the Palmer House. It's located right on the red line, which is really convenient in the loop. So this is more of a business focused hotel. Very historic hotel, though. This is one of the oldest hotels in America, the oldest continuously operating hotel. Uh, if you believe them, it's got this awesome Tiffany designed peacock door. Definitely worth checking out, even if you're not staying at the hotel, maybe if you're staying in the area. This thing is absolutely fantastic. They just don't make things like this anymore. It was really cool to sit here for a couple minutes and just look at all the detail in the doors. And then you move on from here and go explore the rest of the floor. Um, they have a lot of history in this hotel that they do like point out to the visitor uh, and the guests. So I love that. Um, we'll check out more of that in a bit. But this is definitely a hotel that um, you, you're kind of rewarded for kind of poking your head in onto uh, random floors because there's just so much history in here. So now we're on the ground floor, the street level. Um, because this is an old hotel, um, you do have elevator banks uh, that'll take you up to sort of the main level of the hotel, which is where the check-in and uh, the main lobby is. Uh, this floor is mostly just shops, a Starbucks, um, and the entry uh, into the hotel. So we'll say the banks of elevators took me up to my room and wherever I was trying to go very quickly. Sometimes that can be a problem at big hotels. This is a big hotel, over 1,300 rooms, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, it, it worked really efficiently. You kind of have your own bank of elevators for uh, a grouping of floors, which just you know, makes the busyness, uh, cuts down on the busyness, rather. 
I am a Hilton Diamond, so I did get a Diamond credit each day. So for two adults, we actually got $25 each because this is a city that they give you a little bit extra. Normally it's $15 a person, but in big cities like Chicago, they'll give you $25 a person, which is great. And then the resort fee, destination fee, actually is $25 of food and beverage credit as well. So made use of that each day for our three-night stay, which is really great. You can see the gym and the indoor pool down there in the central atrium, so we'll check that out in a bit. And here's our room. So we did get an upgrade to a slightly larger room. It's basically two original rooms combined together into one. So we actually have two bathrooms in this room, despite it not really being much bigger than like a normal size room at a normal hotel. Uh, but plenty of room for us. Um, definitely isn't like the most renovated room by any means, but perfectly comfortable. Really, really tiny bathrooms though, so I see why they give you two of them. Um, so my wife and I just kind of divided uh, the bathrooms uh, for our own um, just to kind of spread things out because there's really not enough room for toiletries for two people in these in these small bathrooms. Small closets as well, but really no complaints from me from the room. Just a little bit different, and it's a historic hotel, so I give them uh, you know a little bit more leeway here just because uh, they want to preserve you know the original blueprints and plans for the hotel a little bit. Now we're going to make our way through the rest of the hotel, explore what else is going on. So each floor uh, through eight is going to be public space. They're going to have a number of different um, meeting rooms, uh, old ballrooms. They do a lot of events here at the hotel. You can tell it's an old hotel too because they actually have a mail slip as you saw there. So they actually collect mail. I love finding those in old hotels. Um, the eighth floor does have the gym and the pool, so they have a whole Peloton studio, very nice sized gym. Um, this is a, one of the best gyms I think I've seen um, at a city property. This is like a true health club that I believe people can be members of, so um, it's nice to have access to that as a uh, Palmer House guest. Um, so overall, that's I didn't go and film in the pool just because there were people and kids in there, but just know there's an indoor pool here, which is really cool. Grand ballroom here on a lower floor and just love the look of this place. It's just really a stately old building. Lots of hallways to go explore. A lot of meeting rooms too. So most of the lower floors uh, above the lobby but below the guest rooms about uh, floor two through eight are going to be almost all meeting rooms. And then finally you're going to go and see this amazing lobby with the painted ceiling. This is the hubbub of activity in the hotel. This is a place to grab a drink or a snack, maybe some dinner. Just hang out and watch people come and go and just enjoy this building like they just don't build it this way anymore. They do have a small history museum as well. I wasn't able to get access during my stay, but I imagine they do some history tours that you can sign up for. But definitely ask the front desk about that because you can peek your head in a little bit through the glass and see some of the artifacts in there. Lots of cool statues throughout the hotel too. Obviously very historic. And then on the main level, you're gonna have your concierge desk and the main lobby level where you can grab a drink and some food. Very busy pretty much all day, every day here. So just be a little patient with the service. Had really good service though. Uh, and very delicious food and a good place to use that food and beverage credit if you are a Hilton elite member. The bar and restaurant is called Lockwood. So you can grab the menus from the tables here. Grab an old fashioned. They actually invented the brownie at this hotel. So that's a very important thing to know. The brownies in the Lockwoods to go area, which is kind of just like a little coffee shop and to go items that you can grab really quickly. Your credits do work there as well. Um, so just grab a brownie from this massive shelf. It's obviously a very popular item because they make a ton of them. We can continue our tour of the main lobby here. Over to the right is gonna be the check-in area. They do have a dedicated diamond uh, line so if you do have diamond status and the aspire card like I do you can skip the line there's always a decent line of people because this is a big hotel Potter's is another restaurant and bar located in the hotel it's kind of a speakeasy vibe they have some old 1940s music did stop in here and had an excellent flatbread and another old-fashioned lots of history throughout the hotel make sure to look at the walls there's lots of signed letters and celebrities that have been here old China that they used to use really just love the feel of this hotel I uh, would definitely, definitely return. And one of my favorite Hilton hotels, I think, in a city that I've visited so far.